I always get gel manicured because they last longer than a day. She's not alone. 20-year-old Carolina Jasko is Miss Illinois and a contestant in the Miss USA pageant. Part of her beauty regimen includes regular manicures. I got this vertical line, like this black vertical line under my right fingernail, and I never really noticed it because I always put I had acrylics. So Carolina went to her doctor to have it checked out. Her thumb reveals the scars of melanoma skin cancer. The doctor said that I most likely uh, got it from getting my nails done at the nail salon, from getting acrylics, from the light. The light Carolina is referring to is this. It's a device that emits UVA rays to cure gel manicures. Over the past few years, these lamps and light boxes used to seal the polish have raised concerns. That sounds scary. A little bit scary, but I haven't heard that yet. So, But I probably wouldn't do that. I just like to do the old school manicure. Whether it be indoor tanning, whether it be a UV lamp, whether it be outdoor tanning, um, all of those can cause aging of the skin and the potential for skin cancers. Dermatologist Dr. Carolyn Jacobs says Carolina may also have been at higher risk because she has a family history of melanoma. But she thinks it's important for everyone to take precautions when using light boxes during manicures. First tip, always use sunscreen on your hands. You use a sunscreen that has a physical blocker in it like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide to cover all of your skin. If that is the case, they should offer protective gloves. Tip number two, wear protective gloves. Some salons provide them or you can order them online. Another option, Elegant Touch Salon in Huntersville changed its system when the studies about UVA damage came out. I switched over to using the LED lamp um, to help prevent any of the skin cancer related issues. The LED lamp uh, has a more of a blue light that comes out of it. The best thing is just to ask your nail technician and your nail technician should be able to tell you what they're using. Folks we talked to suggested nail salons keep customers up to date on the latest health concerns and alternatives. I think they should keep customers informed of what they're actually getting themselves into.